Hello everyone and welcome back to Dishonored 2. This is episode 8. Last time we entered the Dust District and we have checked out the Howlers side of things and we are now going to be checking out the Overseer Outpost uh, before we proceed through the Jindosh Lock that we have already solved to find out the information we need, the missing pieces to Delilah's little business. So let's get into the Overseer's Outpost. Let's waste no time. We got dogs. And uh, I believe... I believe I have the bone charm that allows them not to smell me. Yeah. So we're good on that front. And we're just going to slowly work our way through into hostile territory here. Get our runes, get our clues, deal with Overseer Burn. So I assume we'll learn something before long. I'd wager it'll all be over soon. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to deal with a mob of ruffians. You know what the strictures say about wagering, brother? The howlers are merciless, and Paolo carries the outsider's blessing. Some talisman come straight from the jaws of the void itself. Keep that in mind, or you'll find yourself bleeding out in some alley. So he's upstairs. Try and circle around the back. Oh! Yep. Very good! Oh, it's a dog. I was wondering about that, because I'm like, damn, that dude was like looking at me at the perfect time. Um, actually a dog. That's probably for the best, because a dog barking can be dismissed when the owners cannot verify. However, a human and we'd be in a different place. Um. Whoa. Um, okay. This wouldn't be Corvo's home, though, but I guess, like, that's for familiarity's sake. This would be more the Atano family home. Um, wow. Okay. What are we going to learn in here about our heritage? Anything left behind? It's giving us the... the There's a draft from over here. There would be an Im important thing, right? If they're going to hit us with, with that. Can't open the window. Looks like we can go up in the attic. Does the heart give us any no bone charms or runes nearby? <clears throat> Why do so many have so little? It was never meant to be this way. Diary of Paloma Atano. There you go. I'm like, surely there's got to be something we can find here. 20th month of wind, 1816. So we're looking at, what is this? 36, 46 years ago? No. Because we're in 1852 at the moment. My math ain't mathin'. <laughs> 36 years, yeah. If we're in 1852. I think we're in 1852. So 36 years ago, I cried again this morning and can't bring myself to eat. It's not that I'm not proud of my Corvo. I've always been proud of him. I've always known he was special. So much quicker and stronger than the other boys. So serious. His eyes keen, even when he was barely able to walk. I nearly burst with pride sometimes. I knew when he went after Blade Verbena that he'd win it. Even so young, I pretended to worry, to wring my hands and look away and catch my breath. But it was an act I knew he'd win. I just never thought he'd be sent away taken to Dunwall. I should be happy about his new position. Bragging, not crying. Oh, my chest feels heavy just thinking of it. He didn't have a choice, did he? They've taken him from me. Set him on new road. My poor boy. First, Beatrice, 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 years ago, my wanderer daughter, setting off for who knows where, guided only by the stars, and now my Corvo, racing away into unknown weather. 
a wanderer daughter, Beatrice. So we have a name. Corvo must have lived here three decades ago at least. Incredible. Um, I wonder what Corvo would have to say about returning to this place. His dialogue would be very interesting. Um, I expect that that comment about a draft should mean that we could find uh, something else in here too. Oh, hang on. Brick. Ooh, Blade Verbena trophy. Huh. The trophy my father got for winning the Blade Verbena. Nice. So that's what we can find. He hid that on his wall. I will return this to you one day, father. So yeah, Corvo would have something to say about that as well, I'm sure. So a diary and his old trophy. to try and find a way upstairs avoiding this uh, this dog so we can go in through there but the front door doesn't seem like it's our style in here we'll do it will bother me all the night Is our room. Even the lowliest labor that is rigorous squeezes the muscles as a sponge, rinsing impurities from the mind and body. A couple of overseers sleeping in here. want that uh, faster choking bone charm. We're going to try and find that. There's no way that it's, this is not in the game. You go over here. You're a little bit in the dark here. Uh, we've got... What do we got nearby? We've got rune. We've got bone charm. Not sure what else. Keep looking. Let everybody else sleep. I guess we're going further upstairs. Ah, the lift is out. We are going further upstairs. guy will move. He seems to have stayed in the same place. So we might not have to disturb any of these people. Let's read what he's reading. Litany, Litany on the White Cliff. Excerpt from a series of Overseer Invocations by Overseer Abram Templeton. And I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd for the foggy grey wastes of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions so that others will not lose their way. And to those who choose to wander beyond the walls of our homes in far places, we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbors, filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting me read your book there, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
we see a confiscation room key needed. <coughs> and uh, I don't think you had that one on you. No comically large keys on anyone? They spy a book. The ancient music. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses, and ancient music permeating everything is fundamental structural rule. Through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Throughout my studies, I have found a 17-note scale derived from this phenomenon, and with the right equipment, those notes allow for astonishing effects. Not the least of these is the ability to calm the turbulence originating in the void which we attribute to the outsider. A music that we all can hear subconsciously. I didn't see the one coming through the window. She was quick. The howlers are cowards, brother. But we accounted for six of them. I'm glad it's you in the end. If I have to go, it warms my spirit to spend my last minutes with a true friend. You honor me. I wish there was another way. But it's a gut wound, as bad as any I've seen. Better this than a day or two of agony. Then I go, and I keep the strictures close to my heart. May there be no discord in my spirit. Oh, God. Damn. Goodbye, Overseer. Fade from this world. Having a moment of silence. Curse those harlot bastards and their black souled boss. And then he's going to pray for his brother. I don't see a key on his back. to be at the top now unless the very top uh okay uh, there's still higher so the elevator that's out of order can be accessed private room there. <clears throat> That's also possible. Damn. Okay, there's a few more. How upstairs is this guy? <laughs> is he right at the very top? These are hatches that I cannot open. Definitely properly blocked. Okay. Can I get to this very top one? Not looking likely. Hmm. Curious. Send the elevator plummeting to the bottom. Yeah, they've very carefully blocked that one. Will to 
topple soon. The sisters Burn. of the oracular order have seen it, and I feel it in my bones. I see so a painting? The stalemate with the howlers must be resolved. If we eliminate Paolo, there's no end to the influence we'll exert over Karnaka, over all of Circonos. Dozen overseers have died trying to bring Paolo down. We've struck him. So we could have just been carrying him this whole time, and everyone would be chill because we'd be just have the body of their enemy. Music is ineffective. I believe Paolo is in possession of some unclean artifact. It's my fear that he has to be killed twice in one day. That the Duke won't help. The Duke is no friend of ours. He exiled me from the Grand Palace, and he's done everything possible to push the Abbey of the Everyman out of Circonos. The look on his face when he dismissed me from court. There's something wrong with people who live in palaces for too long. Conversation is over, okay. Now he sits. Right, let me go get this painting. <clears throat> Here's me thinking I had to go like all the way up to the top of the Stilton. tower. Indiscreet time by Anzaramus Stilton. Interesting like tattoo marking. Okay. Um, Alright, hopefully nobody hears this. I think I heard something. I know you're all ready to begin. Our speaker tonight is none other than Aramis Stilton, who owns the mines where those you love toil beneath the ground. Mr. Stilton is known for his fairness, and that reputation is not for show. Welcome to the stage, a friend to the Miners Family Committee, Aramis Stilton. Good workers, good people, thank you for having me. Our annual dinner is always a special time, and I cherish the conversations That's and the toasts as we renew our bond. My closest friend in this world, whose name some of you will no doubt guess, is known for this saying. We rise together with the same dawn. We feel the same wind on our faces. We fish the same ocean. These are words worth remembering. Spoken by a man who fills my heart with joy. As you dine tonight, surrounded by your families and the other miners from your teams, let those words echo in your thoughts. And above all, please enjoy yourselves. You've all earned it. Okay. They heard it, but people did not come to investigate. I mean, this isn't a really easy spot to get to, is it? Up here. But that did make... Okay, so he's here. And the others are chilling. Very cursed whispering. <clears throat> um, we want to just put the group to sleep. very simple enough manner. Okay, doors closed. This looks clear. So deliver one leader to the other is now not possible. Oh, first try. Perfect sitting. Look at that, my, my sweet lord. You've done well. Now you are just perfectly having a sit. We have Durante's key. Very nice. We can enter Durante's office. We have a bone charm for Shadow Embrace. Shadow Walk lasts longer, nice. Uh, Vice Overseer's report. The Howler detainee downstairs 
gave us key details pertaining to his criminal associates and their heretical leader Paolo, debauchery at all hours and an axe of certain witchcraft, the likes of which even our sacred music cannot dispel. Paolo is every bit as vile and corrupt as we suspected. With his dying breath, the detainee revealed that the Duke himself has Paolo sending food into the barred and shuttered home of Aramis Stilton. The place is kept secure by the so-called Jindosh Lock. No doubt the Duke obtained the lock combination from Jindosh, and Paolo passed it to the detainee. The weave of corruption is endless. Okay. Time for us to investigate Durante. The Southern Winds by Caleb Manley, the natural philosopher, which we have read because it does not show up as a new book. I thought as much. Oh, you know what I was wondering? When I saw the light from the thing, I was like, I wonder if our shadow will get cast on the projector and then it can alert people to our presence. That seems like a bit of a bit of an oversight. <laughs> Fortunately. Okay. A guy here. <clears throat> Should be go able to go around and deal with this one. Yeah. Unfortunate surprise overseer. I'll find you, you know. Why are you looking in a cabinet? Yeah, I'm in the cabinet, bro. I'm in there. I guess that you can look under there, but I'm like, come on, brother. Come on, man. Have a lay down. You've earned it. That's that's one way to lay down. Not good for the back, but yeah, there you go. Alright. Those guys are dealt with. Let's check the office. A magnifying glass for clues. Curator Ashworth reported missing. There we go. We get to our update from the previous mission. In a statement from the Grand Palace, authorities have announced that an investigation is underway related to the disappearance of Brianna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. Insiders say that the conservatory is currently unmanaged and that the building itself is in a worrying state of disarray. One can only speculate about what recently happened there and about the whereabouts of the curator. Ashworth's disappearance is a tremendous loss for the institution. She is said, in connoisseur circles, to have a keen eye for unusual works of art and rare pieces of historical engineering. She is also well regarded as a taxidermist, enabling the citizens of Karnaka to behold rare wonders of nature from up close. And yes, those renovations that they're doing on the uh, on the on the place, uh, everyone will be like, "Wow, they've made no progress." And it, in fact, it looks worse than it did before. Okay, that dude's praying there. Now, in terms of our objectives, Durante's office is uh, that away, uh, so we can finally get back in there and get that information that we so need and desire. Unfortunately, Durante perished. Um, so we're heading back to the Howler place to get those two bone charms. But before we do that, uh, we do have items to get here as well. Uh, so we've got that rune. And then there's also a bone charm there. Nope, that's 141 meters away. Where's the other? Oh, I picked it up. I picked up the bone charm. Disregard my silliness. We picked up the bone charm upon knocking out the overseer. So we're just getting this rune and then we're able to go and get the hell out of here. A pretty successful little foray into the overseer's place. Um, I don't know how we're going to get into the 
confiscated place without the key. I need to find the... Uh, I need to find the guy with the key, or I need to find the door that has the key hanging from a hook. That would be nice too. Anyone got a key that you keep nearby to the to the place? Surely it would be located like near the place. Ah, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Why is that guy sleeping with it? The guy on duty should have the key. Okay. New rune acquired. We now have six, so I can now unlock Mesmerize. Avoid spirit to enthrall humans or hounds. Um, so we can do up to two and removes their short term memory. And then you can increase that amount to more people. We're acquiring it just to see more powers. I do wish to get the more domino thing, but you know, is what it is. Just keep saying hmm, sir, and be on with your, be on, be on your way. All right. <clears throat> it's time for us to get out of here. The way we came should do fine. Yeah, I kind of feel like there might be a maybe there'd be a blueprint in the overseer's building. Wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? Maybe. I think out of all the buildings that we've been, uh, all of the levels that we've been in, though, there's a guy. I wonder if we should destroy the elevator and that might unlock a basement. Or we could just try and get to the basement. We also haven't looked in the elevator. That's actually one thing I neglected to do. I remembered I was going to go and look in the elevator. So let's do that. Oh, that did not feel good. That felt awful. Okay. Um, so the elevator... Allows you to do a bit of this and this. There's corruption here. It beckons you. Passes hey. riches and power. So much temptation. Um, now dropping the thing. Um. <laughs> We're gonna do it, and that's gonna alert the uh, whole entire building. And, um, it definitely didn't smash through any... Is someone there? It definitely didn't smash through any, uh, bottom floor. <laughs> it does just go to number one, so... The screwdriver has remained afloat. <sighs> They are investigating, which is quite funny. I can funny. smell the stench of heresy. So close. So did just this guy come in? Come on. I don't have time for games. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. One dude came to investigate. We have a door. Detainee Durante. He admitted entering the home of Aramis Stilton on occasion, but died before revealing how he came in possession of the Jindosh lock combination. Detainee is of no further use to us. His possessions have been passed on to Vice Overseer Byrne for inspection upstairs in his office, and Brother Tennis has disposed of the body. Okay. Selected sayings of the Overseer. 
Let not the eyes linger upon pretty things. Best, better to pluck them out than to rest them long on temptations. One heretical thought leads inevitably the more, as a single errant weed soon overtakes the field of wheat. Know this, there is only one path. It is the path of the outsider to convince you there are many. The duty of the tongue is to speak the seven strictures. All else is heresy. Burn the non-believers non -believers from your midst, for they are a blight upon the earth. And these are among the guises of the outsider, the orphan with outstretched hand, the strumpet with luscious words, the scholar with copious tomes. The her heretic cannot be redeemed except by oil and flame, and beware the starving hordes, for they hunger for more than sustenance. In spirit they are destitute, in judgment they are lacking, and live in silence, for a single untruth or misspoken word can lead to ruin many times its magnitude. And do not accept to the invitation to the, of the outsider. The drink he offers is poison, and on his hearth death simmers. Is that the kind of group that we want ruling over the district? No. But also, do we want the Howlers? No, not really. They're both kind of crap options. And therefore, we have neglected uh, both of them, and we'll just uh, let them figure it out, because uh, I'm not the Empress of Karnaka. I'm the Empress of... Dunwall. And uh, that sound effect was weirdly timed. I was like, oh god. Oh, what you reading there, bud? <clears throat> the ancient music? Oh, I read that one. It's not that good. I'm gonna get out of here now. Whee! Alright, it's time for us to go. Head back to Durante's office. We get the Jindosh lock code that we already have. Um, and then we're on our way. I guess we'll curve around this side because we haven't properly explored this side. Only briefly when we were doing black market stuff. Um, also, I haven't saved in ages. Alright, we've got a few overseers over here. We've got a door over there. Please stop! Begging won't change anything. You stand accused of actions forbidden by the that each crime was witnessed or later verified by sworn faithful overseers in stand. No trial is required for theft of food. For him, am I seeing things? Huh. What's oh going God. on? Oh shit! Hang on, I've enthralled. Oh, I've enthralled a per uh, one of the people instead of um. I've enthralled one of the people instead. This area's all No! On you. Oh, dude, no! Okay. The world from the light. Ah, How? Uh, dude. Um, I didn't know if it, I didn't think it would work on people, but that makes so much sense. Damn. Oh, that didn't last very long, did it? Wait, sorry, guys. Uh, get distracted. Hiya! What the? Good Stop! What's that? There we go. Okay, this is how this works. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't you waiting for get me? them for long. Ugh, it's a creepy visual. More people are coming, I think. Well, that might be my own footsteps, actually. Okay, um, that did not go well, because... Um, I was going to try and save these people because it looks like they were lined up to get killed. So I went, cool, let's distract the two of them. I placed it in a really unfortunate spot, so it only distracted one of them and a person. I should have put it, like, <clears throat> here or something. And then, um, yeah, sadly, uh, some other overseers uh, got brought into the mix there. So there you go. Um, this dude got his arm cut off. I wonder who by. That's just, uh, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Uh, we got to see how Mesmerize works, though. Um, it's cool, and it has uses when done properly. <clears throat> properly is the keyword, however. in a dentistry chamber. 
Any blueprints to be found? Maybe we can find a blueprint um, in Durante's room, perhaps. Alright, let's get out of this territory. Oh, where am I? Where, what, where have I been seen? And by what? Huh? Okay. I didn't even see the lightning bolt. Wait, where is she? How do you know it's a she, huh? Oh, that guy. Gotcha. There you go. I see him. Understandable. Hello? Anybody? Alright, we'll just go back this Don't way, because we know place. that this area is clear, because we cleared it out ages ago. So we'll just go back into neutral territory. Oh. And Durante's office will have bone charms. Oh, it's just the one bone charm left, I think, here. Actually, is there? They're doing that weird growling that they do. They're doing that weird growling again. Guys, they're pretending to be dogs. Now, the inside is basically dealt with. I think it's all clear, actually. It's just the Got something my nose. outside. Yes. So we'll just go in the way that we came. Yeah, the weird stuttering in this game lately, which is kind of unfortunate. So I'm just trying to like, just trying to play the game, guys. Alright, um, we got a bunch of people in a pile that I dealt with last time. They're all sleeping. They're still sleeping. <laughs> And here we are, Durante's office. Okay, so Durante's solution, obviously we don't need it, because <laughs> we figured it out, but we can take a look around here anyway. He has our two cuckoos. Durante, it's underway. Your men will be released by the Shindai Remining Company as soon as we bring them a couple of replacements. You just need to drop two of the usual drinks into the crates I prepared. Anyone reasonably healthy will do. But go easy on the drugging. The deal is off, they arrive dead. Take this key, it opens the back room in my silver graph studio. Wherever you nab, drop them in the, to the crates and nail them shut. When you've done your part, leave the shop door unlocked on your way out. Needless to say, I won't be there. Madotti. Now we saw that building that's near Mindy's Ink place. Take Vice Overseer. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. You've uncovered a plan to free a couple of prisoners by sending two men in their place. Render the vice overseer unconscious and take him to the Silver Star, Silver Graph studio. Send him off to the mines instead. Huh. It's optional to exile them or to allow things to go as they are. Do you think exil exiling these... Oh, God. Do you think exiling these two powerhouses uh, at odds with each other would ease the tensions? And I wish that I knew that ahead of time. Um, okay. Well, there you go. Um, that means... We have to go back to the Overseer's group and get the body. <laughs> Restorative Glimmer. Okay. Health regenerates while using dark vision. Very nice. Go to Stilton's house. Let's take a look. This is from our friend, the Duke. You need it when you take food into Stilton's house. Leave the supplies. Make sure the old man has water. Lady Winslow has the ring. Madame Natsau has the diamond. Countess Conti, the bird pendant. Baroness Finch, the snuff tin. And Dr. Mokola, the war medal. There you go. So it looks like it doesn't actually matter about the order of the women. It's just assigning the heirloom to the women and nothing more. Huh? 
What? A third layer to the to the code would be crazy, having them in the exact spot. Now, I don't actually know if I want to exile them or not, or just leave it as it is. Um, but it would it it does make for a fun optional uh, objective here. It just is going to take some time, so we can get Paolo's unconscious body, and he's going to wake up without the hand of Granny Rags anyway. And now he's going to apparently wake up in a nailed coffin. And we're going to escape under the cover of dust. Make the most of this. The good news is, uh, is uh, I think that it shouldn't be too hard to get... Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get the body out for the overseer. Hey, take a day, just walk along the water. Rest up a bit. Where is she? Damn it! Nah. They never wait to it. Oh. That was nice. I thought I saw someone right here. Let's check the place just in case. We're everywhere. You can't hide from us! You don't stand a chance anyway! Wonder who that was? Not in the mood! Show yourself! Found anything? You can't stay hidden forever! Holy shit! You cross uh, one hell, you cross them all! Come on! Get your ass! Won't Where hurt you! Where are you? Don't you know who's looking for you? That mesmerizing entity work or not? I saw you. No you hold hiding. the shit to die. Okay. I can't stand you, Abby hypocrite. Okay, we're now watching. Okay, we're now witnessing the Abbey fighting overseers. I don't think that mesmerize worked. I wonder who won this little shootout. Oh, okay. It's hard not being in neutral territory, I guess. Oh, no, she died. Okay, the howler went down, so the overseer must have won. That must have been a different overseer body. There he is, they're over there. Okay. Okay, and we've got the shipping crate, so I can place a Paolo in here. Um, we might get ourselves a blueprint in here. I can't even remember how many we've picked up at this point. There's our tattooist, our inked up lady. Skiff approaching dockyard. Silver graph with Megan. Oh. Megan was on that. That was the dreadful whale then. Okay. I see, I see. Ah, and our payment. Here's the payment. My daughter, here's what I've been allowed to take from the saloon emergency stash. Hold on to it until I bring you the two guys. Makes me sick to pay those bastards from the mining company, but we can't afford to let Paco and Bill die up there. Ah, uh, well, uh, I just took the money, so, you know. Is one. I, I I took the money, so does that Time to pay off your debt to society? Does that uh, mess with things? I guess it still counts. Okay. Also, I just realized that like you can exile one. You don't have to exile both. That's also another choice. So you have the choice to kill them, return one to the other, um, leave both as they are. Or exile one or the other, and then you've also got the ability to, on top of that, um, you know, remove the hand of Granny Rags from Paolo's possession. There's just a lot to, that you're able to mess around with. 
And now I must get to that window. Now I'm wondering if there's a way that I can just specifically get to that window only. Oh no, that's... is that not the window? No, we went in from there, so I could... Hmm. Let's see. Can I get on there or am I going to slide off? Oy. Is that window barred? I must be ever vigilant against the outsider. He knows my heart. If we can go this far without getting seen, I'm sure we can get out the exact same way. Oh, the window's locked from the inside. I could have gotten this done easy. Okay. Um, I didn't realize that I would be back here, though, so that's our issue. The good news is we at least have an easy way out. We'll open out open up that window and get the hell out of here. Oh, that dude's up now. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he probably, I probably woke him up with the elevator crashing on the ground. He's still over there. And after this, we still have the, uh, the manor to look at, which is funny. I guess I remember this guy's still there. So, can't be too careless. We'll pop on over to this guy. And then open this window and get out of here. <laughs> window! Hello! How's your rest been going in this spot? Very good. Lovely. Alright, let's get out the way that we came. And then we can finally go to the manor. <laughs> Which is funny. We head in under the cover of dust to put Overseer Burn in the crate. Well, that was great. I just had to go back to all of those locations multiple times. <laughs> Good night, boys. I hope five years away gives you time to think while the city rebuilds itself without your little war. And there you go. They've both gone away. Silvergraph Studio Notebook. And uh, note to staff, do not take any more silver graphs for Miss Mindy Blanchard until she pays what she owes. Do not let her pick up any of existing portraits either. We do not offer credit even to the howlers and promises don't pay your wages. If she threatens one of you again, let me know. I'll bring the matter to Paolo. <laughs> Madotti. Mm. Silver Graph Studio Notebook. Look, all that matters is that every wedding Silver Graph delivery comes with a nice little message. I know they're tacky, but it's what our customers want. We're not here to be poets, stinky of wine and piss, starving in the gutter outside the crone's hand. Here are some examples. Do your best. We met in the month of high cold. Now we'll hold hands until we're old. Wed the month of rain, a love without refrain. Oh my god. <laughs> that message was on the 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 one that we read. That's so funny. The, um, where we had to find the code to the black market couples thing. <laughs> Wed the month of timber every a day to remember. Married in the month of seeds, a sweet huckleberry for all your needs. And wed together in the month of cold, you can dump him when he gets old. Hilarious. Okay, let's go to Jindoshlok. Now, let's see how we go about just curving our way through here. These guys look yeah, like... I'm not in the mood. Don't you know who's looking that for you? They're still looking. But I think they've gone over a different way. So we can go up and over. At the very least. I saw you. No you hiding. They're looking everywhere. Oh god. Everywhere. Holy crap! You don't mine. stand a chance. Whoa. Anyway. <laughs> 
the whole army. Whoa. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a lot of howlers. I don't have time for games. Uh, I just need to get into neutral territory, and we're good. No sign of her. But that is very funny. Come out wherever you are. Um, God damn. They're looking for me, so even if I'm in neutral territory, they'll probably still attack me. Just trying to do- I've just trapped myself in this mansion, thinking that I had a clever way of getting out. Okay. Here we are. We have finally made it to the Jindosh Lock. we solved. In we go. So food has been getting delivered here, which is a good sign. Oh, that's actually the end of the level. <laughs> um, I thought that this was still going to be part of the same level, but there you go. Um, we got two deaths and a couple of, just a few detections, just a little bit. Uh, so that's mission six completed. We found all the runes, the shrines, the bone charms, the paintings. Oh, and we did get two blueprints. So we actually got everything there. Very nice. Solved the lock without obtaining the answer from anyone else. Found and explored the dwelling where Corvo Tana grew up. Eliminated both faction leaders in the struggle for the dust district and deduced the door code using the shopkeeper's wedding date. Wonderful. Uh, I did not expect that to be the end of the dust district which is actually really funny um and we will now move into the jindosh manor because that is going to be a full level all its own i will be bringing this episode of dishonored 2 to a close so a bit of a shorter one today that is because i anticipated the mansion being a whole part of this experience but that's how the cookie crumbles so far. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this mission and finishing up the Dust District. And I will see you next time.